Hello again, it's Priscilla Betzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I am experimenting with scapes. Lots of, lots of scapes. And I think I want to experiment some more with scapes. So I am just going to keep doing what I do best, which is making things look easy <laughs> in a somewhat haphazard fashion. And I will add more to whatever I have, should I want to, when the time is right. I'll let you know, or you'll notice. I like the silver. Oh boy, I want some copper in there too. Why do I want that? For contrast? Alright, so my intention is to cover a copious amount of space, a large amount of space of this canvas with this puddle of paint. So I'm going to have to guess, <laughs> like always, how far that paint is going to take me and continue to add more interesting things as I go along. I'm just making an abstract artwork right now, actually. So what do I do with that silver? It's right there in my hand. No. I have one silver. There it is. <sighs> One silver that's not open, and one silver that is. And so, I'm going to get some of this paint out of my way. Goodbye, bottle of silver. Over you go. And let's use the small edge catcher first. And just dump that paint right over there. And the same with that. Just dump it right over there. Rock it back so we get some coverage on our edges. Flow all that paint up. And down and over. I kind of like that black stripe. I wish I hadn't got rid of it. That's okay. I need a wire edge catcher for whatever's coming at the bottom. And I also want to scrape off and make sure my spatula that just came out of the bucket is dry. Yep, I'm doing it. Oh well. So that way, if I want to tip up, I can do that. But right now, I still want to tip down. I'm just going to take the rest of that paint and leave it right on my spatula for the moment. Grab a... Oh, I've got another bunch of paint. Another painting behind me. And that can go right on there as well. Similar paint, similar painting. Not really. Um, okay. So, what this means to me is, do I want to make sure there's enough paint? And the answer is yes. So, I'm going to use the edge catcher that I just scraped. And hope that I am correct in my assumption that I just added enough paint to the paint that was there so that I can Pull it, let it all flow to the bottom. That's pretty cool. And let it go back, right back in again, and maybe some of it over, because I like that to go over. <laughs> and then whatever the paint is on the bottom, I'm going to rock that edge catcher. I'm going to use just a portion of this hoping I can get away with it. Rock that edge catcher again. Now I meant to do my sky first, go figure. Now I've got a lot of paint right there and I don't think I need all of it. So I'm going to let most of it flow right off under that edge catcher and move the pattern up and over. My bottom edge is covered. I have some paint I can use when I get ready. Kind of looks like a mountain. Kind of think I could probably just go ahead and um, maybe 
use that right in there. Foothills. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I don't think I said that. So I'm telling you now. And I finally did it and put the straw in the paint again. <laughs> okay, part for the course. Now while I did get rid of a few things that I really liked, I think I'm still probably okay. And since I might be wind up tilting the sky, it hardly matters. And I've got all of that paint on my fingers. And the paint on the edge catcher is ready and handy should I want it. And I am going to go ahead and give myself a beautiful sky, hopefully. Snow sky. Let's just push that paint right down toward that edge. Take the things that are in your way out. promising myself and you I'm going to put trees in one of these and I just there's so much going on already it just doesn't seem to need them but that doesn't mean I won't still because it could happen I just need to have a chance to have a look and I need to bring this over to the edge of my tile not off hopefully so that white that I put at the horizon line is just basically a catalyst And to help flow everything else. I do have to be concerned about my edges unless somebody is willing to frame one of these. Chances are good. The edges will not be perfect. Now last time I made all kinds of really cool accidental clouds in the sky, I just left them. I'm going to use the paint on my spatula to cover the top. This is pretty simple. But that might be okay too. I really wanted some trees. I have a little bit of a limited amount of time. Because the sun is setting here. Just gonna use my finger as I do often. As long as I can keep anything that looks like a major chunk that a spatula track left behind, I think that's pretty cool. I want to put a moon in that sky just because. Because <laughs> I think it would look cool. I don't want all that purple to go away, and the only way I know of to get it to come back is to put more in. And I want a darker purple this time. And maybe I want a clean spatula. I think that's probably a really good idea clean spatula, maybe a smaller clean spatula. Oh boy. Keep your spatulas clean. Today I'm having a trouble with grit on my spatulas. So use a scrubby with metal in it when you, uh, when you wash up. So I should tell you guys, since I'm almost there, that um, I do sell my artwork. I do give classes at the studio at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do have seven minutes left. I'm getting faster at this. That's so cool. I have an Amazon link below show more under the video I may have mentioned. I do often. The Princeton... Wait. 
That's an OXO omelet turning spatula. This is a Princeton Catalyst spatula. I have basting brushes. I have tripods. I have hardware for making the wires go into the back of your paintings. I have a lot of really cool stuff worth seeing for sure on the Amazon link. I want to take some of this paint. Well, wow. put it into that white. Right down there. It's kind of cool. Every once in a while they warp. And when they warp, you can use them as a paint tool. I like those dark clouds. So I like it when the white changes them just a little bit. So all that's kind of cool. I really want to take a little more paint right off my edge catcher and put it in that sky. I don't want to go too much further because I'm afraid that I'm going to go too far. I hope you can see all that. In any case, it's time to torch, I think. Let me take one more look. Sorry, I didn't mean to make your head spin. <laughs> that was a picture. Alright, so my edges aren't too bad, and I'm pretty happy about that. I'm trying to be more cautious about that nowadays. I got lots of tools to clean up again, and no trees to show for my process. I think if I were going to put trees in, it would have to be tomorrow because the paint is so thick down here. And the possibility of me not playing in that snowy bottom is not good. So I need <laughs> need permission. And I, ooh, I just gave it to myself. Yeah, I like that better. I like the cells okay too, but the cells are going to pop all over again when I put the torch in there in a minute. So what else did I forget to tell you guys? I have Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook. And that's for students. I have Expression to Start Studio Gallery Totes and More for people who are looking to see what I've been doing since 2013 on Fine Art America. And uh, there's so many products there, it's insane. Truly insane. So if you want some fun, go check that out. Even if you're not shopping, it's still fun to go there. And uh, I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. Yes, I just did that. It'll be alright. I always steal some paint from somewhere else and blend it in. Also, I have inter, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links underneath show, uh, excuse me, yeah, underneath show more with the paint pouring recipe. I have playlists, nine, nine 100s, the ninth, uh, God, I'm tongue tied. I have genres on my channel and you can find playlists one through one, one through 900. The first eight have a hundred-ish on them, and the last one is being populated by videos now. Also, if you look on the end screens of this video and any video, there should be an exhibition video that includes a monthly drawing prize. We'll show you what it is in the exhibition video. And uh, if you're a contributor to the studio of $10 or more, you'll be automatically entered in that. You can use PayPal or Patreon. Those links are directly below Show More and also on my channel header. And let me have a look. Oh, please share my videos. If you wouldn't mind, that would be, I would very much appreciate that. You know, it's just another one that doesn't need trees. I'm so sorry. But like I said, I could change my mind and they could come about tomorrow. I'm not sure what I would do with them, but um, I'm going to keep doing these until I get one with trees. I promise. I need to, uh, to do another one anyway, because I got so much paint left on my edge catcher right now. So I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. I'm not sure if I said that or not because this is my third third painting in a row. Um, if you will share my videos, I really much appreciate it. And giving me a thumbs up is a big help and assistance too. The longer you watch the videos, the more likely the YouTube algorithm is to give my videos priority placement in places people are looking for them. If your notifications are not delivering your notifications to you, you may want to check that your computer is allowing YouTube notifications, and you may just want to check in general that they're on, because my husband's got turned off along with his subscription, and you know he did not do that on purpose. 
Um, let's see. I have. I told you my art is for sale. I told you no. If you, f I want to say thank you to everybody again for keeping me painting. I really appreciate your help, and uh, thank you for all the wonderful comments. Well, things are weird at YouTube, and uh, you keep my morale up amazingly well. And I really, I really can't tell you enough how much I appreciate that. Um, I know there's more, but I'm forgetting it. Oh, there's Teespring, my clothing under the video where you can find all over print t-shirts and leggings that are to die for. I recommend going there. I'm just going to clean up some paint and <laughs> and see what I can do. Maybe I can make one of these that needs trees. This is not that. All right, so that was quick. This is Priscilla Batsell in Springo, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I love you for like the third or fourth time. Um, I'm obsessive like that. <laughs> I hope you keep coming back. Check the community board on my on my channel for tomorrow's video, late at night or early in the morning. Usually they post every day about 6.30 in the morning. And uh, if you can't find my channel and you're scrolling around with that little hand on the cursor and you scroll over my face, you'll find out that my avatar will bring you to my channel. So if you click on that, you'll get there where you can find the playlists and uh, welcoming video and um, whatever I just said. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you soon. This is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida. Probably saying that for the second time. I get so tired of doing this, but I love you guys and you keep me coming back. So I'll see you soon. I'll see you anon. Maybe tomorrow. Bye for now. Priscilla out.